Hello everybody, this is Roll with Winter Bros and welcome to this second video presentation on DAS 3D Made Simple. We're going to cover the two applications that are included uh, when you get your free account with DAS 3D, which would be the DAS Studio application and the Hexgun application. The first thing you want to do is visit the DAS 3D site and you're going to want to click on this little uh, person icon up in the upper right and you want to log into uh, your account with the, your email address and your password and the first thing you see when you get logged in is you should be on your account info if not uh, you'll want to click the account info ta uh, icon here and of course it'll show your name uh, at the top it's going to show your name here again and it's going to show your email if you want to change your password that you log in with you can click this little link or you can use this edit link over on the right side uh, if you want to edit your uh, email information, uh, like if you change email accounts or perhaps your name if you don't like what you originally used. And the next thing you want to do is you want to click on this little uh, product library uh, icon and we'll show you what it, that has in store for you. It's going to bring you to your product library which is basically uh, everything in your account that you've uh, either paid for or gotten free through DAS 3D. And you can see here, uh, here's our stuff as we scroll down through here. Uh, one of the things we'll show you is these page numbers at the bottom. If you uh, have quite a lot of stuff that you purchase over time, which you will, uh, you can go through the pages down here. Uh, but we've only got one page here for this uh, startup account that we did. You can see there's different things through here. Some may not be recognized right away, but here you can see like Genesis 2 Starter Essentials. Uh, and you click into these links and it'll show you the item it's talking about over here. And you can manually download them if you didn't want to use the DAS uh, Install Manager or if you didn't want to do it from within DAS Studio, which we're going to show you shortly. Uh, the nice thing here is if you see something and you click on it, uh, is the View Product Store page. Uh, let's just go, let's see, okay, let's click, click the charm arrow here, here. And if we want to see the Product Store page, we can just click this, and it'll pull it up uh, on the DAS 3D site for us, and it'll show us the stuff. So like if we've forgotten... Uh, what it uh, what's included with it or, or what it looks at or want to see the promos again uh, for whatever reason and since we are logged in here you can see this purchased on the right over here uh, so showing that we've already purchased this item uh, and it's in our account now you if you notice really quick you'll see this price is 1795 it was nice that they uh, when they start you out uh, with free content they give you uh, a lot of stuff it's uh, quite a valuable package it's really worth getting your free account with uh, DAS 3D so once you look at that you're going to move over to this uh, serial numbers icon because what you're going to want to do is before you start DAS 3D assume uh, DAS Studio or Hexgun you want to go ahead and get these uh, so that you can go ahead and register them once you uh, open them up and use them the first time and once you get to the serial numbers, uh, it'll list uh, serial numbers that are applicable for anything you've purchased through DAS 3D uh, or even just some of the other items too. Uh, right here we have DAS Studio 4. It'll, uh, we've got ours blanked out, but you uh, want to make note of your serial number. You can either copy and paste them into a text document, write them down manually. Uh, we recommend that you go ahead and get your serial numbers. And here's the one that would have been for Hexagon underneath here. Uh, because if you lose your internet connection or the website is down at a critical time when you want to run the product, uh, so you should go ahead and run the product at least the first time, get it out of the way, get it registered, and then if you ever need the serial number, you can log back into your account at DAS 3D. Now let's go ahead and move back to the applications themselves. Um, we're going to start with uh, looking at the DAS Studio application. So the first time you run it through, we double clicked our icon and started DAS Studio. It's going to ask you if you want to be involved in the DAS Studio Improvement Participation Program. Uh, it's, uh, we recommend that it is uh, a good thing because they provide you this free application and all the improvements they make uh, come from these kind of uh, uh, volunteering uh, crash information, other statistics uh, that they use. Of course, however, if you don't want to participate, that's just as, just as fine as well. They don't care. Well, they do care. They probably would rather you say yes, but they recommend it. But if you don't, that's fine. They're not going to hold that against you. So you could click yes and click uh, OK, or you can click no, I do not want to participate, and click OK to continue right into DAS Studio. And you'll only be prompted for this the very first time you use it. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, run DAS Studio here really quick, and we're going to show you inside DAS Studio uh, 
where you'll register it uh, using that serial number that you got from your account at DAS 3D. We'll just let it build, uh, load up, and get itself put together here. And when you run the DAS Studio application, it's going to have this little welcome pop up. And you can click down here not to show it again. Uh, it's up to you. We, uh, we, it's not too bad of an annoyance. Uh, we like leaving ours turned on. Because uh, then we can choose to either work offline, which means we're not connected to the internet and we just want to use DAS Studio standalone application. Or if we do want to connect to, we can connect to our DAS 3D account that we created uh, using our email and our password uh, by filling those in and then clicking connect. Uh, however, if you don't want to type them every time, you can check this Remember Me box so they'll always be there. And if you always want to connect to your account, you just check this automatic log on before you click connect and you'll always be there. So it's up to you. Uh, like I said, if you don't want to see the screen again, you can always get to it later, but you can click the Do Not Show Again. However, we recommend you just uh, leave it there, and then uh, that way if you forget, you can always uh, be connected uh, onto the uh, your account, which gives you access to all your products uh, that you may not have downloaded that you purchased. So we're just going to click Next, and then you get this uh, Studio Home with some little training tutorials and stuff to get you started. Uh, you can go through those. We recommend you do. Uh, for us, however, we're just going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, the intent of this video is not to teach you DAS Studio, but to help you just get started. So you're going to take that serial number that you uh, read, got from your DAS 3D account. You go up here to Help. Uh, let's see, Register DAS Studio. And then what you're going to do is uh, you're going to have to connect your account to actually do the registration, and that's fine. So you'll go ahead and fill them out this one time do the connect and then when you get prompt you'll get prompted to uh, do the uh, put in your registration number your serial number and once you get a good connection with DAS you're gonna get this success uh, message and you'll just click next and you'll put your serial number in there click OK and it'll be registered and it should pull in the serial number from your DAS account automatically uh, if it doesn't uh, then uh, you can manually type it in. So just to get you started, you're probably gonna when it, first time you run DAS, it's probably gonna come up looking similar to the screen right here. Uh, as a new user, if you're not familiar with DAS, the important part tabs you're gonna be interested in is this one called the Scene tab over here. Oops, excuse me, let me get that back out. And is expanding it out. But the Scene tab is gonna be uh, one of the most important things. The Viewport tab and then the content library tab or the smart content depending on how you want to access all the uh, your uh, content 3d content which is your figures your props and all the things you'll use for your artwork and animations so to get you started there's two sections there's the DAS studio formats and the poser formats so uh, this is poser formats is for poser native items or uh, backward compatible items uh, for DAS studio at DAS studio can use but for now, you'll find most of your DAS Studio formatted stuff uh, in the DAS Studio formats. If you expand it out by clicking that little carrot to the left, you'll see uh, the My DAS 3D library, and that's the main one you're going to be interested in. Then if you expand that one out, you're going to see a lot of stuff start popping up in here. Uh, characters or figures uh, are referred to as people. So if we click on the people and expand it down a little bit, you'll see there we have Genesis, Genesis 2, 3, and 8, uh, as we've shown. This is all the free content that came with our uh, registration account. So you're going to get quite a bit of stuff. So what we're going to do is just show you really quickly how to just how to load something in the scene. So once you actually get to a folder that has content, it'll show up here in this little panel. And to load it in the scene, you'll just double click it. And as a, do a pause, or it'll start searching for all the stuff and it'll load it in the scene and you can see up here in the scene tab it put the Genesis 8 mail in here so and just to help you out a little bit we'll expand this down clothing specific to the Genesis 8 mail will be under this clothing folder underneath now don't be confused there will be a clothing uh, folders under different ones and you might even find a, a clothing folder under props if uh, uh, somebody builds some clothing for various characters but right now we're working on the Genesis 8 mail, so we into its clothing folder. We're just going to go to basic wear, and we're just going to put an outfit on him. 
And there you go. It's as simple as that. You can see how quick and easy that was to, to get the character in here and put some clothes on him. And there's a lot more stuff you can access. You could go to hair to get some different hair. Uh, looks like the Armani hair is uh, here by default. You would just select the character, double click this, and it would load it onto him automatically. So enough about Daz Studio. Now we're going to move over to uh, Hexagon and show you how to get that thing started and up and running. So for Hexagon, we're going to double click its icon to get it started on our desktop. And the first time you run Hexagon, it's going to prompt you for the serial number uh, from your dad's account. And if you're still logged into your dad's account, you can copy it over there and paste it in. Or you can manually type it. Or if you saved it in a text document, you could paste it in here and click OK. If you choose to close this box without putting a serial number, it'll go into demo mode, which means anything you do won't be savable. So we recommend you just go ahead and do the registration right away. And of course, you can see here we're running Hexagon uh, 2.5.2109. And uh, once you've registered your copy of Hexagon, every time you load it up, you're going to get this uh, little news uh, flash, Hexagon news. Now you can turn this off so it only shows you new items as they come in, or you can just leave it on and see all the uh, news that's been in the buffer. Uh, sometimes you might see something important, like uh, you can see that the beta version of 133, which is a little higher than what we got, uh, is available if a person wants to go ahead and try that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click OK, and we're going to maximize this a little bit. And this basically is the 3D modeler provided free by Dice Studio, and they're uh, making efforts to improve it and make it a, a really nice product. So the intent of this training uh, program excuse me, is to give you an overview, not to necessarily train you how to use Hexagon. But with, there's a whole bunch of tools available and has a lot of capability. Uh, you can see all the tools down here at the bottom too. So once you uh, start using Dash Studio and you decide you might want to make some content on your own, you can always uh, bring it into or open up Hexagon and create something. Uh, what Dash Studio does, and you'd have to configure these yourself, but they actually include a bridge uh, between the two. So if you actually created something in Dash Studio, you'll see up here on the file menu, there's a, if you create something in Hexagon, excuse me, and you want to send it to Dash Studio, it's got this send to Dash Studio for you to send ob objects that you've created and saved in Hexagon to Dash Studio. And on the other hand of that, we'll return quickly back to Dash Studio. If there's something in Dash Studio that you want to send to Hexagon, it's uh, you can select it. And on the same note, there's a file send to Hexagon. So what you're going to find is uh, if you, when you do get in a little more advanced in Dash Studio, uh, a lot of people like to uh, they'll load a character up like the uh, Gen State Mail here, and then they'll send that character to Hexagon so they can make some changes to it from a morph, to create a morph like a new body shape, uh, like some of the ones that are included uh, with it. So that's uh, the send to Hexagon bridge and the send to Dash Studio bridge. Uh, will come in handy later if you uh, start to do any kind of development or anything like that for uh, DAS Studio. That concludes this presentation. We hope you were able to get your DAS Studio and your Hexagon up and running uh, great with the content available from your DAS 3D account. Have a great day.